Okay, in this lesson for our Cornet Project class, I'll consider a couple of passages that were referenced in an article by Zane Hodges, uh, Regeneration, a New Covenant Blessing. Uh, we mentioned that the word new refers to something unprecedented, and <clears throat> it's a very lengthy uh, article that he wrote, uh, seven pages. I'll put a link to that. Uh, here's the passages. Now, this is from the Septuagint, so... I'm not uh, as quick to just write that out, but it's already here so we can look at it. And here's a part of it here. And this is future active indicative will fall upon you. You all recognize epi, then you, singular. And this is the word spirit. Of Lord, Kyrio, from Kyrios, but you know that one very well. And he said, here's what will happen in conjunction with that you will prophesy. Now, here's the sigma, sign of the future tense, and then you remember you have OSA in the primary active endings in the present indicative uh, present tense. So you have profe to. O, profe, two, ace, and then you just add sigma here. So you notice this. This is very familiar. You will prophesy, or let's just say preach, so we won't have a transliteration there. And this is meta, but you notice the alpha is dropped because of the alpha here, the alpha, that is. So uh, we have in association with... them and what was mentioned in the previous verse was there were prophets preachers speaking preaching and he says and you this is uh from strepho turned and it's uh future passive you will be turned into and then this is Andra, man, uh, from where we get the word Andrew, common name for uh, a, a male, literally a male, and refers to husband, becoming to another, well, this word another, another man. And then this portion here, 1 Samuel 10, 9, which was also referenced in that, uh, it said, the God, let me place that over here, speaking of the God, Hotheos. And it says, the God turned, this is metastrepho, you see the augment here, and sa, 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 but in this letter here, you have the uh, euphony there, where it, uh, well, the, Sigma worked out there with the fee. So we've got all that worked out. So uh, in, so the God turned and here another, this is uh, accusative, another heart, another heart in association with him. He also pointed out very well earlier uh, when it referred to Samuel had, did not know the Lord and the definition of eternal life that Jesus gave was to know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he sent. So that knowledge of the Lord was not there. And then he, he received that knowledge and then that's eternal life. So here we see uh, some interesting things because this is not uh, the word heteros for different or opposite. It's another. And if I may go back to our pie chart here. See if we can't find room up here for that. Here we go. We'll see what we can do without making a mess. There we go. 
So in this case, we're seeing flash course and then mind. And then we see this this heart, this um, another another man, uh, for example, like we'd say a new man, another man. Stick with our text. So that would be what we refer to as we learned and remember that which is uh, having been Gene Minon John three six and first John five four. That which is having been generated and remaining generated, produced out from God is spirit. And this is that term there. So here we have this. And then also we know prophecy co-depends 100% on the provision of the information. So this didn't result in a renovated mind. It resulted in uh, this other this heart change and this other man getting involved here so paul spoke of the inner man inner man inward we learned about that at that uh, adverb so paul said the so man the inward man the inner man and we learned that that was from the preposition ace into. So we have good lesson here, good consistency. So that was it. And I'll include a link for that article so you can review that. It's fascinating to go back to the Old Testament, then to use the Septuagint, see the Koine Old Testament. And then, of course, we will get to the Hebrew and I'll go back to that and we'll go back and review this some more. So you have a blessed day. Enjoy this lesson.